<clears throat> what would you want to say to a person that is about to buy a dog? Please don't buy a dog. I would definitely say that think twice. Ask yourself why. Why are you buying a dog? What is the reason? What's the main reason for you? Well, my name is Joanna and I'm from Sweden and I've been living in Spain for the last seven years. This is Naya and I adopted her four months ago. Come on, come. My name is Juliet and um, we've been living in Spain now for four years. Um, we moved here with my family. One of the first things that we found out about was about the Galgos and how um, sad um, the situation is with the Galgos, how many of them, we couldn't believe how many are abandoned each year after the end of the hunting season. I'm Elin and uh, I'm Swedish obviously, but I've been living in Barcelona for about 12 years. And I started going to this shelter as a volunteer about eight months ago, nine months ago maybe, to help out with the dogs. So basically what I'm doing here is walking dogs, playing with dogs, cuddling with dogs. Uh, but I also, we also have our own social media in my group called Catalonia, uh, where we help out finding adoptions for, for the dogs. Why I adopted, well, because I really don't believe in buying a dog, like from a breeder, especially since the, the situation with abandoned dogs is what it is. And I feel like it's way better, at least for me, I, I really wanted to just give a home to someone who needed it instead of supporting the, the breeders. There's so many thousands and thousands of dogs in shelters and foster homes all around well, all over the world, but there's so many here in Spain, it's unbelievable. You know, you see, you see so many pictures. I haven't even been to a shelter because I can't bring myself to go because I think it would be too upsetting. I'd want to bring them all home. But I see so many pictures um, of, of all the dogs that are in there and you know a lot of them are never going to be adopted. It's really sad. There's just not enough people. Oh. It's okay. Hey, Django boy. He's blind, so that makes him unfortunately also a bit aggressive because since he doesn't see you, he can get scared and bite you. It's just, I say, oh, he wants more candy. You needed more candy. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Here. Here, baby love. Hey baby love, yes you did. There you go. Now it's so heartbreaking because like who's gonna adopt this dog? And here he sells. Hey beauty boy. Hey beauty boy. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Because he needs out. He's not happy at all. You can see like that he's stressed. Yeah, you're a bit stressed baby. Yeah, you're a bit stressed. It's okay. We love you. Um, many people are just not aware of the fact that there's a lot of dogs that need um, that need houses, that needs homes. Like egoistically, obviously you, you choose to adopt a dog because you want a dog, but at the same time, I'm also helping her. So it's this balance and it's not, um, I am only for myself getting a dog because I want a dog. I'm also getting a dog that needs me. So I would say that that's the best part. The man who found him was a really kind man and if he hadn't have found him and taken him off the street he probably wouldn't have lasted more than a couple of weeks. And the best thing about adopting him was knowing that we could treat him and cure all the things that he had and make him into a beautifully healthy dog and it's so satisfying watching them grow and become more and more confident and while people still keep insisting on buying puppies from breeders that, that's not going to change. But what I think people don't realise is that the, the puppies in the, in the shelters, there are puppies there too if you really want a puppy. I think education is key. Uh, I think people need to be educated about like responsible 
uh, dog ownership. I also think it should be stricter laws, for example, for abandon. If you take in dogs and you dump them and then you take another dog and you dump them, there should be a possibility of like blacklist this person. Before you consider buying a dog, speak to people that have adopted. Um, look into it because they are just so amazing. And I think the gratitude that you would get from a dog who's been through like to hell and back, they will love you so much and I really, I can sense it, you know, I think it creates a really special bond. And they just look at you with this gratitude and it's something I've never seen with any other dog, but adopted dogs, they just look at you and it's almost like every day they think, oh my gosh, I'm still here, this is amazing. If you give them a chance, they will love you like no other dog. They will be better than any other dog you can ever imagine because they understand that you rescue them. They understand what you do for them and they will give you a loyalty and a love that you, you can't find elsewhere.